In the beginning, before life graced the cloud of existence, before any semblance of time and sunrises and sound, there dwelled only two divine forces of energy. Orose, the force of light. Desidre, the matter of shadow. For a timeless eternity, they danced along the void, orbiting one another in a synchronized sway. But ever tighter did their nexus become, condensing ever so narrow with each revolution. In a momentous event, they collided. In the wake of their impact, the dust and the shatter that remained in their place churned into a rhythmic current. The momentum bound all that was into a cycle in which the two energies symbiotically flowed. The universe hummed in harmony as the balance of divine energy coursed in peaceful cadence. Conscious life forms emerged, bringing love and wonder and awe. The conscious kind flourished in tune with the roots that bound them to the fabric of all that was. In their hearts lived the essence of the gods in unity and balance. However, consciousness was a burden of conflict that was prone to falter. In time, despite the cycle of renewal, the mind grew weary of its mortal body. And when struck with a mighty test of strength, fear crept into the world. A fear so grave that it defied the flow of life itself. Eliciting forces not consented to such use, man found way to become immortal by shattering his soul into his body, corrupting the divine material of the physical realm. The abomination spread throughout the collective of the conscious kind. Those drawn to the turn tore their souls from the cycle of rebirth, willing the essence of Desidre into a relentless consuming force. These beings came to be known as the Fallen. The conscious kind's grasp of their origin weakened. Infected with the disease of their making, they toiled against the affliction. The vibrational harmony of the realm began to tremble. A shadow of foreboding loomed as elder spirits passed judgment onto the societies of men, warning them of the consequences that the wavering balance would bring. Should the clotting of the energy worsen, the end times would await existence. But a messenger of higher consciousness a great weaver spirit bestowed a prophecy of hope. As the beast of the era arises, threatening to tip the scales of reality, a curated soul would be called upon to restore balance, with the capacity to neutralize the threat to the world. One collected from the most concentrated source of light.